that famous force, the Royal Ulster Constabulary. Over now to Holland and Wolf shipyard for the crowning event of the visit, the launching of the world's biggest aircraft carrier, HMS Eagle. Memories recall the dark days of the Malta convoys when that other valiant eagle went down fighting in August 1942. And now, nearly four years later, the new eagle is about to begin her life as cheering crowds greet the arrival of the princess. More flowers and a great moment for the youngest shipyard worker, James Christian, who presents them. The first sea lord, Admiral of the Fleet Lord Cunningham, accompanies the princess to the launching platform. Presently, in the shadow of the great ship's bows, a short service begins the ceremony. They that go down to the sea in ships and occupy their business in great waters, these men see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. I name this ship Eagle. May God protect her and all who sail in her. Another moving scene as the crowd surges back to the launching platform to give three hearty cheers for their princess. Another kind of christening ceremony followed later that day when the princess acted as godmother to the baby daughter of Lieutenant Commander Osborne King. A quiet interlude in one of the happiest royal visits ever made to loyal Ulster. <laughs> <laughs> 